Many researchers have noted that social media platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube provide unique and exciting opportunities for learning. Thereby, some researchers have proposed that social media might help address some of the problematic features of massive open online courses, otherwise known as MOOCs. For example, social media might complement MOOC discussion boards in significant ways. The evidence that we have to understand how social media platforms are used in MOOCs is limited and consists of short-term case studies. As such, even though the research is suggestive, it is unclear whether the findings can be generalized beyond the MOOC studied. This study fills a gap in the literature by examining the use of Twitter and MOOCs. By examining the hashtags, tweets, and users associated with 116 unique courses offered in 2015 from one specific MOOC provider. The goal was to understand who chooses to participate on MOOC hashtags, the type of messages they post there, and how those messages vary by user type. By looking at the available tweets and user profile information associated with these courses, there are about 16,000 tweets and 5,000 users. The data was analyzed using basic qualitative methods and descriptive statistics. Here's what was discovered. Most accounts use hashtags in sporadic ways. The median user contributed one tweet to one course, hashtag. On average, users contributed about three tweets to one hashtag. Very few users, around 7%, contributed to more than one hashtag. About 250 accounts contributed 10 or more tweets each, and these accounts were responsible for about half of the tweets posted. About 15% of the tweets were replies to others, which is evidence of weak interaction on the platform. By categorizing users into distinct groups, the active users in the data set included learners, instructors, institutions, course dedicated accounts, and the platform provider. The tweets can be di divided in nine categories. Promotional, instructional, resources, personal feeling, reflection, example, question, gratitude, introduction. As expected, different users posted different types of tweets. For instance, learners posted more reflective comments, while instructors and course-related accounts posted more instructional content. Promotional tweets featured prominently in the data set. What do these results mean? Even though a hashtag is, exists, it does not necessarily mean that this online space is an interactive learning environment. To become more effective, the hashtag needs more intentional use. For example, instructors might need greater awareness that the hashtag exists or recommendations on how to use it appropriately. Perhaps assignments that make use of the hashtag need to be created. Second, Twitter serves different purposes for different users based on their role. Course providers used it to promote and market the course through the institutional Twitter accounts. In contrast, Learners use Twitter and hashtags to reflect, share resources, and express personal feelings. Future research examining hashtag use in MOOCs should delve more deeply into the ways that users understand the goals that hashtags help them achieve. Third, there are many avenues for future research. For instance, how does use of a hashtag vary with the design of the course? How are other social media tools used? Does such use impact how other tools are used within the course? For example, does the use of Facebook for in-depth conversations in a MOOC relegate Twitter to a platform of resource sharing with limited discussion? Is this still true in cases where a course does not have an accompanying Facebook group? How does social media use differ by discipline or by gender? Thanks a lot for tuning in. You can find a more detailed analysis of this topic in the published journal article. If you like this, please share it with your friends, colleagues, and students.